Uh, okay, I I need to get dressed. Okay, it. <laughs> All right, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. I have a rehearsal at four o'clock for a literally for a literal a literal Broadway show that I was just called for. Like when I woke up this morning, I, everything was easy peasy. I just was going to work. I'm not gonna have time to take a shower. I need to like just throw on some black clothes and go because this is just I. This is last minute. This is. Ugh. So I'm in Boston right now. Um, I'm actually right next door to the theater and it says Fiddler on the Roof tonight at 7.30. Like I said, I got called at one o'clock. Um, our rehearsal's at four o'clock and in that time I have gotten dressed, gone to a whole different town to pick up an instrument that I haven't played in a really long time called the E-flat clarinet. You'll see it, it's tiny, it's not cute. It is the ice pick of the orchestra. I've been listening to Fiddler on the Roof. I don't know what to expect, honestly. I've never been called with this short of notice with such an important part. Like there's a lot of clarinet solos and like I am a strong sight reader, but when the keys are uh, kind of like harmonic minor sort of klezmery stuff, uh, it can be a little bit more unpredictable. I don't know who else is in the orchestra. Apparently there's another wind player who they called last minute as well. I didn't think I was gonna make it here. Like I've known about this gig for like th three hours and I'm basically gonna dump my car in a garage now and go to our first rehearsal. And then the show's tonight at 7.30. My anxiety is kind of wearing off because it was it was kind of just like, all right, let's get all this stuff together. Will everything fall into place? And it did. And I'm actually here earlier than I thought I would be. Thank God for like really good friends who play clarinet, honestly, because I don't own an E flat clarinet and now I have one. <laughs> Miracles, miracles, I manifested this. Because the other thing is, the theater that I'm playing at is the Colonial Theater downtown. And I'm gonna cut you off, sorry about that. Uh, and um, it's, it's on the same block as the Cutler Majestic Theater, where I just played a little over a month ago. So, I'm like super excited, I'm really happy. I don't even know how they got my phone number, to be honest. Like, I, I guess I played a gig with one of the guys and he had my number still. The music world is so small and, you know, and also thankfully I work at a place where I can just be like, um, I have an emergency, I'm playing on Broadway, I gotta go. <laughs> um, no, it's, I think it's their national tour, but it's a big deal, it's a big fucking deal. naked I I have I have a towel oh my gosh everything just sort of came together in a really weird way so basically yesterday I was heading home to like get my notary stamp to do a notary job for my day job and as I'm coming home I got a text and like even before I got this text on Tuesday evening I got an email from one of my students asking to cancel the only lesson I would have taught last night so Already had my night wide open. I'm like, sweet, nice, relaxing night. I can wrap some presents, get my Christmas vlog edited. Hmm. But yeah, I got a text as I'm on my way home asking if I was available for the show to fill in last minute. Uh, yesterday was Wednesday. Their first show was Monday. So it's one o'clock, mind you. So I'm like, uh, before I even respond to this gig, I need to see if, if I can borrow an E-flat clarinet, like find an E-flat clarinet somewhere. Meanwhile, I still have this notary job to do, right? My brain just went into overdrive. I'm like, all right, well, no matter what, I need to get into all black because I can't say no. Um, I'm like texting all these people. Finally, I found someone um, willing to let me borrow their E-flat clarinet. So I did my notary job. I said yes to the gig because I work with Colin in the office and sometimes with, with drive work and I was like, um, hey, so I just got a call from uh, 
Broadway? I can't say no. Um, and he understands and um, I feel, honestly, I feel really guilty for leaving my courier company at like the busiest point of the season, but like, I kind of can't say no to these things, you know? These opportunities just arise and everything had just worked out so perfect. Like, had I still been downtown, I don't know if this would have all been possible. From one o'clock, it was just chaos all of a sudden. And on top of that, I was like having one of those lazy days where it's like, I'm not gonna shower, I'm just gonna wear a hoodie to work. So I showed up to the gig, unshowered, no makeup, feeling gross, but wearing all black. Essentially, the bare minimum. It was that kind of day, but it doesn't matter because I'm in the pit, so as long as I don't smell bad. We ran through things from four to six, 30-ish. Uh, then at 6.45, we ran through a couple of things just with the orchestra, and I think doors opened at seven, and then the show started at 7.30. So I sight read, and I was mic'd, and my mic was hot. Like, I could hear myself in the theater. <sighs> Let's just say I'm aiming for more correct notes this evening. Um, and I've got two shows. One is this afternoon, and the other one is tonight. So it's just like a super full day and <sighs> like, like I've got good sight reading skills, but um, this music's really hard. The universe needs to chill out because I thought that, I thought that the Wade Shorter gig was going to be like my pinnacle for this year, but it turns out there was more in store for me. I just need to breathe a little more. Everything has worked out. I have all my instruments. I have the music. I'm gonna practice today. It'll be great. Uh, I did play some wrong notes last night. I don't think that they were like, cause it's not. There's a lot of clarinet solos. Like it should be called clarinetist on the roof. The orchestra, like all the members are amazing. I actually went to school with two of the people in the orchestra, which is just um, kind of mind blowing. Like I walked in and I was like, I know, I know people here. <laughs> uh, but it's 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 really fun. It's interesting. They keep calling it an adventure, and I agree. It is it is an adventure. I'm going to introduce you to the tiny clarinet. This is a regular sized clarinet. Look at the beauty. Look how beautiful that is. This is the tiny clarinet. Can't really get a, a full visual, but tiny clarinet. For comparison, this is the what B-flat clarinet sounds like, or regular clarinet. If I play the same exact notes on E flat clarinet, okay, this wouldn't be a vlog if there wasn't a practicing montage, am I right? The people in my house aren't already awake, they are now. Um, in the style of klezmer, which is a whole different bag of worms in terms of clarinet playing. This is all a solo, by the way. I played this last night, mic'd, and they told me I nailed it, but I blacked out. You might recognize this sketchy little alleyway from my jazz opera vlog where we played in the Cutler Majestic Theater, but today we're going inside this door and the unglamorous backstage that nobody else gets to see.
Oh, I caught a glimpse of the actual stage, but don't blink because here it is. Intermission vibe. In a few minutes, will you join the boat around you? Please take a moment to turn off any devices that may make noise during the performance. Photography and recording of any kind is strictly prohibited during the performance. I have this little ledge here, which um, is a nice little perk, you know, it's, it's the little things. So that whole setup that you just saw of me putting together three instruments was um, kind of for nothing. Um, it's nobody's fault, but um, in this case, the show cannot go on. There's a very good reason why the show is canceled today. It's Christmas Eve. Um, I don't have any plans. My family canceled uh, Christmas Eve, kind of. Uh, for COVID reasons, like I already wasn't gonna go because I have the show and it's a long drive. And judging by like the reason why I'm filling in and, and like people that I know who are in the industry, like people, um, people are dropping like flies. So yeah, things are, are not looking good um, for musicians right now. But yeah, it's, hmm, I don't know how I feel. I need to get out of this garage before my time expires, so. See you in the next clip, I guess. last left off in the vlog but um we just played our last show um there's another matinee it was it was sold out um yeah it was i just played a sold out show anyways the, the last show is always so crazy because like you play the show and then everyone has to like get out and then there's chaos and they got to pack up the show and everyone is doing something else and so like maybe you see people maybe you don't you say uh, happy New Year, it was great meeting you, great playing with you. Um, it's been a great week it, down here in the trenches. I mean, down here in the pit. It's just kind of like a bonding experience for everyone and like everybody now has that shared shared experience of playing in the Emerson Colonial Theater. So they're on the roof um, and I was a substitute and I mean, everyone there was super, super nice and like thanking me for stepping in and thanking the other subs for stepping in and it, it was amazing. I, I kind of want to join a show and go on tour now, not gonna lie. Um, like I'm being absolutely serious about that. I'm gonna ask um, what the process is and who I should contact. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I'm just gonna drive home and just sort of process and decompress everything that happened. But thank you for coming along on this musical journey with me. Um, if you don't know the music for Fiddler on the Roof, just like go listen to it now. It's great. It's a classic, totally out of the blue totally out of the blue and my entire life's trajectory has changed. <laughs> happy holidays, happy new year, where, when, whenever you see this, um, bye. <laughs>